So I'm headed to Western Northeast South Kansas. Actually, turkey hunting in Kansas is one of my favorite things. I love spring turkey hunting. Looking forward to getting up there. I've been hunting up there about 20 years. Uh, the guys I go up there and hunt with are like family and uh, really looking forward to seeing them. And stay tuned, because Kansas rarely lets me down. So this is gonna be a quick trip uh, with my auctioneering schedule. Uh, I've got an afternoon and a morning to try to get this turkey hunt done. I'll get up there in the afternoon, gonna try to scout, um, find some, some turkey that are in the area, get set up, wanna put some decoys out. So uh, my first afternoon, I'm gonna be getting ready for the hunt and uh, I've gotta make it count because I've got one morning to get this done. First thing I wanna do is catch up with my longtime buddy, Brent. He farms a lot of land around there and generally knows where all the critters are. So uh, being my time constraints, I need him to dial me into some areas where he's seen turkey. So Brent is very helpful and told me exactly where the birds are. Apparently, the birds are everywhere. After I talk to Brent, I wanna get a little bit more advice, so uh, I call his cousin, Chris, and uh, I'm gonna go look him up and see if he has any advice. He actually is a little bit more specific and tells me where some toms are actually roosting, uh, or at least in the area. So uh, I need to get dialed in. I'm gonna go check the area out, see what I think, and uh, get set up. So there's a pretty good patch of woods where they say these turkeys are roosting, and I'm just trying to figure out kind of where I want to set up, see if we can call them off in the morning. Um, go to two or three different spots, I actually saw a turkey, and uh, I, uh, I think I know where they're gonna be in the morning, and sometimes you just gotta place your bet. Just trying to locate some, obviously, if I locate some, I'm gonna try to set up and see if I can draw them in, but uh, I guess that's why they call it hunting and fishing, not shooting and catching. All I know to do is keep trying. So I'll talk a little bit about gear. I'm trying to get set up to call them off the roost in the morning. I go ahead and put the hens out. I've got an AVNX uh, tom, a big tom as well, and uh, obviously using my Maristep pop-up line. Uh, I get everything set up, time to go get a little dinner, catch a nap, be ready to go in the morning. So we get up the next morning, everything's going great. We're walking out toward our setup and I start hearing gobbles. This is try to stalk up on a turkey we got here about 10 minutes after daylight. We set up last night and turkeys are already pounding our decoys. There's a big tom over there strutting, trying to breed a fake hen. Apparently we set up a little bit too close to the roost because it's not even daylight yet. They're already gobbling. We better move slow. The turkey are already puffed up, strutting around the decoys. We're about 100 yards away. Apparently these turkey got up early. They think that the early bird gets the worm. Just so happens, I believe the second mouse gets the cheese. So we're crawling in and I don't know if we made a little noise or they, they spotted us and uh, they start to take off. So um, thank goodness I had the, uh, the M-Spec Mini on the shotgun. That's why I like to run it. It's quick target acquisition. I put the dot on them. Bam, bird down.
Man, just goes to show you when you're chasing wild animals in new country, uh, <laughs> all the planning and uh, preparation can go right out the window. We set up our blind last night. We, we knew where some birds were roosting close by and we set up probably uh, several hundred yards from where they're roosting. Was gonna try to call them off the roost. 10 minutes before daylight, <laughs> birds were already pounding our decoys. So uh, we had to stalk in and I'm glad the decoys held them. We were able to, to crawl in within uh, about 40, 50 yards and let her fly. So uh, it all worked out in the end. I'm really happy and a beautiful bird. So after I uh, get my, my turkey shot and we're gonna go start packing everything up, that's when I realized that this Tom, they had knocked the tail off, they'd knocked the wings off, they knocked the head off. Uh, they just spur marks all in the box. Um, luckily, really no harm done. Everything could go back together, but I would have loved to have been there and gotten footage of these Toms whooping the hell out of my HDR strutter. I'll tell you this, AVNX decoys are so good you don't even have to take them out of the box. So I would call it a success. Um, by 6.05, I've got a bird in the truck and uh, we have time to get all of our gear together, say goodbye to my buddies. I gotta get back to Texas. This segment of Target Rich Environment brought to you by Muddy Blinds. Go Muddy. This segment of Target Rich Environment brought to you by Pulsar, Advanced Thermal and Night Vision Optics. It's one of the best times of year here at Wild Acres. The coolest thing about this lodge is that we have a ton of stuff to do. So we've got a big group of guys coming in. We're gonna do some heli hunting, we're gonna do some thermal hunting, and we're gonna do some quail hunting all in one weekend. With a group of this size, we gotta split up the hunts. I can only take so many guys up in a helicopter, as well as I can only get so many guys in the field safely for like a quail and a pheasant hunt. So this morning, we are all hands on deck. Johnny's taking guys up. Um, in the bird, they're gonna go shoot some pigs. Get this on, time to rock and roll. So are we gonna put uh, some money on this or what? Uh, hell yeah, what do you wanna bet? I don't know, I mean. How many hogs we get? How many hogs, quail? How, how much money you got, I'm in. I'm going to take another group out with Tom and the dogs and we're going to do some quail and pheasant hunting. Tom does a great job running all of our quail hunts. He takes care of the dogs year round, makes sure they're trained and ready to go. He takes care of the property that we hunt on. He's got a big group of guys coming out today and they're all ready to go kill some birds. Well, you guys got a long ways to go because my son still holds, holds the record. Him and his three of his buddies, they shot 98 out of 100. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are ready to go. Everybody's in a line. Dogs are excited. They're working. It's time to find some birds. These guys are working their way through the field. They get a lot of shots on birds. They're knocking them down and having a great time. 
One of the best things about upland hunting is watching the dogs work. That is my favorite thing to do, working behind the dogs, watching them out there with their nose to the ground, getting on point and getting excited. And when they lock up, there's no better feeling than just kind of creeping up there, waiting for the quell of the pheasant to explode so you can get your shot. Well, there was lots of shots taken. Yeah? yeah? Shooting all of them. Well, we were shooting them. <laughs> the fun is not over yet. It's time to get these guys out of the field. We're gonna go meet up with Johnny, get them strapped in a helicopter, and go shoot some pigs. This segment of Target Rich Environment brought to you by Walker's Ear Protection. Here like you've never heard before. We just wrapped up our upland hunt. Time to get these guys strapped in the helicopter. Been talking to a landowner the past couple of days and he says he is absolutely getting torn up. We haven't seen the damage yet, but we're gonna get the bird in the air and go see if we can't find some pigs. It's a really beautiful piece of property that we get to hunt today. A lot of animals, been seeing a lot of deer in the air, and then bam, we come across the damage and it's a lot of damage. We've got to find these pigs. And before you know it, Here's our first group of pigs. It's time to get to work. We get a big sounder of pigs that bust out of the brush and they're running across land and water and everything they can to get out of our way and the chase is on. After they knock down the last group of pigs, we're gonna pack it up, get back to the lodge, and get some dinner. When reliability matters, make the wise choice. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, What's up, man? Hey, where can I put this? Yeah, man, just uh, just toss it in my ice hole. Thank you.
Ice Hole. Share it with a friend. If you can hear this episode of Target Rich Environment, thank Dead Air Silencers. No quarter. After dinner, we're gonna gear up and head out for a thermal hunt. Corey's coming in, he's got a lot of pigs in the field and we're gonna get these guys out to shoot some pigs with the Pulsars. Corey has been our lead pig guide for several years now and he is an absolutely hog slayer. He has killed more pigs than anybody else in the country. You take a guy like Corey, pull him out of the Piney Woods at East Texas and give him some high tech Pulsar thermal optics, there's not a pig in Texas that stands a chance. Let me know when you want to go. I'll set you up. You tell me higher and lower. So that's a wrap for today. Now it's time to get some rest so we can do it all again tomorrow.